All right. Cold plunges, let's talk about it. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know cold plunges are the new fad going around in the fitness industry. But if your goal is hypertrophy and muscle growth, you might wanna rethink doing cold plunges post-workout. So there's actually a study done on ice baths where they had a group of people put one leg in a warm or room temperature bucket and the other leg in a cold bucket. It was post-workout and they drank a protein shake or some sort of protein high carb drink. The leg that was in the warm water made more muscle growth than the leg in the cold water reason being is the cold water reduced muscle protein synthesis resulting in less muscle growth. So I'm not totally going to kick them and say don't do it, but I wouldn't do it post-workout. Maybe one to three times a week in the morning when you wake up. That way you're not inhibiting muscle protein synthesis and hindering your muscle growth. And there are other benefits like lowering cortisol levels, which will in turn lower your stress. It helps depression and being anti-inflammatory is always a good thing. Honestly, probably the biggest one is it forces you into an uncomfortable situation. So it makes you comfortable being uncomfortable. That makes sense which in turn would have a positive effect on your training because most people when they're training don't train hard enough and think they're training to failure being in a cold plunge forcing yourself to be in that situation that uncomfortable situation because training to failure and training that hard is uncomfortable because it hurts and it's hard so being in that cold plunge for whatever however long you want to do it whether it's a minute to three minutes whatever it is being in that uncomfortable situation will in turn positively affect your training because it'll allow you to mentally be able to train harder because you're able to force your body through that uncomfortable comfortable situation. So I'm not totally going to bash cold plunges and say they're a bad thing because there is pros and cons to both. At the end of the day, if your goal is hypertrophy, doing cold plunges directly after training will negatively impact muscle growth. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I learned a few things while I was doing research on cold plunges. So if you like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you would. If you guys struggle to gain weight and you're on your first bulk, check out this video here. And if you want to binge my shorts, they're right here.